Hi, my name is Ermingard Mayer. I'm a pole dance instructor and a performer in New York City. I would like to give a little introduction to pole dancing to those who are curious about it or those who are thinking about taking a class. I teach classes in New York City at Body and Pole. And in the beginning of all my classes, I give a little introduction speech. So not everybody can come to me. I get emails from people around the world who are interested in taking pole dancing classes and they're not sure how to get started. So I would just like to give a little uh, information and that little tidbits that I teach my beginners before we get started in class. Just for those who are curious or interested, I know that when I first started I was very confused about like what to wear and how do I take a class and all that. So I just would like to give that to you so it's accessible. The internet is wonderful that we can do that. I can reach people from all over the world. So that's what I'd like to do today. The first thing that's important to know is that pole dancing is a wonderful form of fitness and exercise. It is a combination of strength training. Um, it is flexibility training. It's also cardio. There's coordination. So you are working on a lot and you're doing a lot within the exercise. So it's important to know with that that it's not going to be easy the first time you do it. You're not going to nail everything. It's going to feel a little bit um, overwhelming, perhaps. But the wonderful thing about it is that, you know, the more you do it, the better you get at it, like anything. A lot of people will say, oh, you know, I don't have upper body strength, so I can't pole dance. And that is just not a reason not to try it because you gain that by doing it and working on it. You get stronger by doing it. And there is something for everybody, whether you have no fitness, no aerial, no dance, no nothing background, you can take a pole dancing class and you can do something. Are you gonna do everything perfect? No, probably not. But the more you do it, the better you'll get, just like anything else. Uh, and with that, also, if you are a dancer or if you have a fitness training or anything, you know, there is still uh, there's still a challenge there and there's still something for you to work on. So from any level, you are able to participate. Another aspect about pole dancing that is so great is that it's a very cathartic, it's an emotional release because it's a form of dance. And with that, you can take any kind of form of dance that you are interested in, you can integrate it with pole dancing. So, you know, if you have a salsa background or if you were a cheerleader or if you like musical theater, you know, whatever your thing is, you can integrate it into it. Pole is just a vertical bar. That's all it is. Uh, so you can do with it whatever you want. It can be sexy. It can be fitness oriented. It can be uh, contemporary. Whatever you want, that's what it can be. And that's something that is a misconception about pole dancing, that it has to fit into a certain box, but it doesn't. It can be whatever you want. And that's what is so wonderful about it. Another question that a lot of beginners have is where can I take classes? Where can I learn? You know, I'm in a city that doesn't have classes or I'm in a small town. You can learn online. You just have to think about the sources that you're getting your information from, right? So I have a lot of great resources that are listed in the info box below that are taught by certified instructors. So you know you're getting information that's trustworthy, that's going to keep you safe, that's going to help you learn progressively. United Pole Artists is a great resource for pole dancers. It's a media source that collects information about the pole industry. They cover the industry in a variety of different ways. They cover um, pole events, pole competitions, and they have a variety of um, calendars that you can access so you can learn about what's going on and information. And they also have a wonderful program called Quickies. And that is a program that has downloadable instructional videos that you can look at and I've included a link below where you can find that and there's a variety of different videos for all levels from beginner intermediate up to advanced and you can learn from pole dancers wonderful instructors all over the world and they can come right into your home so if you are learning from home it is very important and vital that you have a proper pole set up and that you are installing it correctly so a lot of people will buy these poles from these untrustworthy sources and they will not install them correctly. So make sure that you are getting it from a trusted source. Right now, the most trusted source to purchase a pole from is from X-Pole, and that would be directly from the manufacturer. Don't purchase something that's on eBay or Craigslist. Somebody who says, oh, this is an X-Pole, you know, 
because a lot of times there are counterfeits and they can be dangerous to use if they are not the real deal. So you wanna make sure you have a great quality product. Then you wanna make sure that you install it correctly. So you wanna install it into a beam, you wanna follow the instructions in the manual, and you wanna make sure it's secure because I'm sure you've seen those YouTube videos where people you know, are on their pole and then it just knocks out of the ceiling or the floor and that's not safe. We don't want anyone to get hurt. You know, pole dancing is hard enough uh, physically, so why make it more difficult for yourself if you're not using the proper equipment? So use the proper equipment, set yourself up for it, and you'll be good. What do I wear for pole dancing? For me personally, when I warm up, I have to wear um, like baggy sweatpants or leg warmers. I like to start with, you know, lots of layers. And then as I warm up, I start to get warm and I remove those layers like the sweatpants and then I end up basically in some type of shorts that are tight uh, and a sports bra. So the more that you do with pole dancing, the less you have to wear. The better you get, the less you wear. Um, that's because you need skin exposed to grip the pole. So if you are a beginner and you're starting out with beginner moves, it is perfectly acceptable to start wearing like a tank top or a t-shirt and yoga type pants or whatever, um, leggings covering your legs. That's okay to start with because you don't need your legs in the very beginning. But as you start to do things like climb up the pole and learn different tricks, especially when you start inverting, you will absolutely need shorts. So that can be something that you progressively build up to as you go. Another question people have a lot is about uh, sweaty hands and if there's any kind of grip aids or solutions. There are many different options. Everyone is different. Everyone sweats differently. I personally do not sweat and I actually am too cold. So when my body is cold and the pole is cold, I just slip and I have no grip and I can't stick. Um, some other people will have problems of profusely sweating from their hands or whatever. So there are options. There are antiperspirant um, solutions. There's dry hands, which is basically like liquid chalk, and that just dries your hands up. Uh, there are also options that are more of like a tacky solution that provide grip. This you wouldn't want to put directly on your hands. This you would want to put on more places like contact points, like behind your knee pits, um, maybe on the side of your torso, maybe on inside your inner elbow. So um, those would be more something like iTac. And I'll give some options in the info box below, below for those who are interested in learning more about different grip aids if they're having issues. But I recommend for beginners to start with just a clean pull. So if you are learning from home, you'll want um, a towel with rubbing alcohol just to clean the pole and have like a fresh slate to start with. Everyone likes different things and you'll find the more you do it what works for you, but it's good to start just with a nice clean pole and go from there. You don't want to rely on grip aids in the beginning too much because then you're you're going to need them all the time. So it is going to be hard in the beginning. You will feel, you know, slippery. It's a little scary to try something new. So maybe hold off a little bit longer than you might think so you don't develop a dependence towards those grip aids. Another question a lot of beginners have is about injuries related to pole dancing. This isn't, you know, major injuries. I'm just talking about um, some bruising, scrapes, burns, things of that nature, calluses in the hands. I don't know if you can see them, but I have them. Uh, so in the beginning, you will have a few little minor bruises, bumps, scrapes, burns, that kind of thing. You're taking your body and you're interacting with a metal apparatus. So of course, you're gonna run into some sticky situations in places. And that's completely expe expected, it's fine, it's normal. Um, the more that you do it, the less that it'll happen. Your body might not be used to interacting with that, you know, gripping the pole with your shin, climbing, you might get bruises on the shin. So the more you do it, you'll learn how to properly engage your body, so you will avoid hitting it in a way that's gonna bang you up, and also your capillary strengthen, so your body kind of gets used to it, and it develops like a, familiarity with it. So it'll go away the more you do it. Right now, when I uh, do any kind of tricks or anything, I don't hurt myself unless it's, I'm doing something new that I haven't done before. And then I do have a little bit of bruising or scrapes depending on whatever the various move is, but it goes away with time. 
So pole dancing, like I said, it's hard. You're not going to get everything right away. And that's completely fine. It's okay. It's, it's, it's meant to be progressively learned and trained. So if you start doing something and you see videos, and you're like, why can't I do that? You know, you don't know what that person's background is. You don't know how long they've been dancing. It takes time. For me personally, I started pole dancing in 2009 and I couldn't go upside down invert for a year, you know, so it takes time. Just work and train progressively. Work within your range. Work on developing your muscles, your body awareness slowly and progressively. And then, you know, you'll work your way up towards those advanced level tricks and you'll do it safely. You'll save yourself. You'll save your shoulders and all the other parts of your body that you don't want to hurt and mess up. That's that's it. That's all I got for you guys. So good luck on your journey. I hope you enjoy pole dancing as much as I do. And I want to leave you with this, the most importantly. I want you to know that it can be whatever you want it to be. And that's what's so wonderful about it. So take this lovely vertical apparatus and do with it whatever you wish. And let me know if you have any questions. You can leave comments below or send me a message. And good luck.